Welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. Today's expression, 大智若愚 Okay, 智 and 愚 are antonyms, and we place them together and put a comparison. That means like. So like in mathematical terms would be this sign, right? It's like similar to.、Um, or you can approximate. You can approximate, and Chinese call 智 Okay, brainy. We use 大智 So apparently they are 小智 So 小智 means like witty, smart, but brainy, 大智 like a big brainy means wise. It's not witty. It's the next level. You I guess learn、um, or grow old enough or learn seeing much enough or do lots of reflections that you can not try not to be witty to be you know that smart. Person in the room, you don't feel the com compel compulsion to do to be so. So that really actually is a Chinese way to say, okay, don't show your smartness all the time. We get it. Okay, actually, the real smart person looks like they are slow. I <laughs> mean, isn't that something? So I guess culturally, this culture in. Encourage people's humbleness. As of yesterday, we talked about xu huai ruo gu. But here is like behaviorally. If you really, really feel you're you're smart or you're a brainy person, don't show it, and talk as if you're just regular average Joe, as if you're just as slow as everybody else. So in it, there are certain wisdoms. Okay, 大智大 In、uh, well, in many many episodes, we came across this word because Chinese 大智 Chinese pair this size, this、um, lens terms used on many many different things. And 大智 like a big brainy English, we don't say so, right? We may say super brainy、uh, or ultra brainy,、uh, different type of word, but. Chinese just use big brain, <laughs> okay, and the sta、um, as a scale actually means bigger. It doesn't mean an absolute term; it's relative, because we have this this、um, it, it's two parts combined by one. This combining is done by this horizontal line, so that means it's bind together from two pieces come into one piece. And that means double the size of something, right? And versus a small, we have that horizontal piece verticalize it to mean to 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 act as a visual separator to have these two pieces make sure it's separate on two parts, and that's 小 that means smaller than because you actually cut it in half visually. This is visually combine them in twice as the size. So this two x thing is a Chinese way to say it's bigger than, and eventually we love that comparison. We just understand the comparison in a context of language, and we say big brainy. Okay, brainy is Chinese intelligence, and translate a brain brainy because big brainy sounds good. And this intelligence is made of this arrow shooting out of、uh, the bow. So this image arrow, we we can sort of visualize that, right?、Um, And in ancient times, the arrow speed is the top speed. We don't have supersonic technology back then yet, so that's our speed is the same. And then the top is the mouth symbol, means you're speedy talking, means you recognize something quickly that you can speak it,、uh, identify it, or call it out quickly. So that's a behavior, behavioral、uh, signal to mean that you are you're quick. And then the bottom is a sunlight, sun ray. So it's sort of like a box, box thing, not box, sphere with a horizontal line.、Um, that means the energy within that sphere emitting the sun rays. These pointy things are the sun ray thing.、Um, so sun ray in Chinese is symbol for white, white color, and this white color. Just like in English, when we shed light on something, means we gain understanding. Like we used to be in the dark, we have no clue, and later on,、uh, we discover something as if the light is on. Okay, so this、um, means discovery of new knowledge, right? And this arrow, quick arrow, quick speaking, means you already know something. You have a kind of a good storage 
of information and you quickly you already know it but this shed on shed light on is exploration like you encounter a new situation and you discover something new the right side um it can be viewed in two ways. One is walking sign, which is a kind of a transformed way to imitate the footsteps. Uh, another one is you view it as a puff of air from your lung, you're kind of emitting, <laughs> uh, you're uh, uttering something. And then the horizontal line is your uh, pronunciation organs uh, to block the air and then eventually go under the heaven or sky. So that means you you ha you still have breath and you still have voice. You voice it out to the world. And um, I guess quick speech or voicing out uh, the new discovery, both combined together means you're brainy. Ruo, uh, we talked about yesterday, it's identifying edible plants. Before you pick with three, hand, three finger hand symbol, and have the plant digest uh, to your mouth. So here, this hunter-gatherer society's essential skill to correctly identify edible plant is uh, the thing. And eventually this identification means you have a kind of a dictionary knowledge about you know, edible versus unedible, and then you can separate them out. Then that means you have to visually compare whatever the plant you're examining to that dictionary, right? <laughs> Uh, and draw your conclusion. So this um, comparison then extend to non-food, non-hunter-gatherer situation. So it's A comparing to B, A like B. Okay, this U, we have this heart symbol at the bottom. So if the mouse symbol in this brainy icons, we use the mouse, meaning speaking, that's appearance, right? Thing, things are detectable, measurable. Um, this heart is invisible, but heart, just like in English, we, we use heart kind of a more like in emotional, moral sense. Uh, in Chinese, we sometimes use heart uh, with recognition, uh, rec cognitive sense as well. So in this case, it's cognitive. And then the top is a type of monkey. So this big head, it's not a human head, it's a monkey head. And then we have a monkey tail and sort of, a, I don't know, monkey limbs over there. So monkey in Chinese concept is kind of a slow, low IQ uh, type of animal. And we're pairing this animal with a heart means this person have a mental or a cognitive level, you know, comparing it to the monkey means it's a slow in learning or you know, doing or saying or communicating something. So you actually, okay, April Fool's Day, Chinese translated as a Yu Ren Jie. So this, you can view it as a fool. Uh, but I, I, I translate it as slow, right? Act as if you're slow in understanding something. So that's Da Zhi Ruo Yu. Um, and I asked the chat GPT, like what's the best one English word to translate Da Zhi Ruo Yu? I guess I'm assuming uh, came up and I picked this one. And this is monkey. The monkey doesn't look that, you know, slow, right? Actually, it could be, you know, something going on in here. But Chinese like to compare uh, the monkey's intelligence to uh, the low, slower, uh, foolish person's, um, you know, slowness. So, and actually in encourage everybody, especially the big brainy kind of person um, to act, act as if you're slow in understanding something. I'm not sure if this is camouflage, this is a type of a maneuver to cover your own in, you know, intelligence so that you can actually know, pretend you don't know, but you actually know. I'm not exactly sure the application of that, but we have this and everybody in Chinese in some years in that culture, no, that you actually is culturally encouraged. You're supposed to, I guess, look, <laughs> look stupid sometimes. Uh, and that's the sign of your really big brain. All right, that's that you. Thank you for your time. See you another day.